Leg training can increase upper body strength and muscle mass, according to a new study. Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Stepani, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll be covering topics on training, nutrition, supplementation, as well as anything else my subscribers want to know. If you find this information helpful, please be sure to share, like, and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when I post new videos. Leg training can increase upper body strength and muscle mass, according to a new study. Any gym bro can tell you that it's not just important to train legs to build your legs, but that leg training can help to build your upper body muscle size and strength as well. But what does the science say about this? Luckily, we have a brand new systematic review study by UK researchers that looked at the data from 24 different studies investigating the influence that training both lower body and upper body have on one another. They concluded in a 2024 issue of the journal Sports Medicine that those who train legs either before or immediately after training the upper body experience both strength gains and muscle growth in the upper body that's greater than those who train the upper body alone. One reason for the transfer of muscle mass gains from lower body training to the upper body is due to anabolic hormone levels. Research confirms that when you do multi-joint lower body exercises, like squats and deadlifts, it increases levels of anabolic hormones, such as testosterone and growth hormone, higher than when you do upper body exercises, such as curls. This is due to the fact that multi-joint lower body exercises involve more total muscle mass than upper body exercises do. And the more total muscle mass that's stimulated during the workout, the greater the release of anabolic hormones. Since anabolic hormones like testosterone are systemic, and therefore travel throughout the whole body, they get delivered to all muscle fibers and other tissues of the body, not just the ones being trained. So flooding the body with anabolic hormones through leg training can help to stimulate muscle growth in all muscle groups of the body. As far as the strength transfer goes from lower body training to upper body, some of that may be due to the anabolic hormone responses that I just talked about. However, most of the strength gains that the upper body received from the lower body training is more likely due to the greater central neural drive that the lower body training stimulated. Again, due to the larger amount of muscle mass that's activated during lower body training as compared to upper body training, the neural drive which is generated in the central nervous system is greater. This can help to enhance neural adaptations and therefore strength gains in all muscle groups of the body. So score one for the gym bros. That concept that leg training can help to improve upper body muscle growth and strength has merit according to the latest science. How do you apply this in the gym? Well, if you have any lagging upper body muscle groups that you wanna bring up, consider training them either immediately before your leg workouts or immediately after to take advantage of that transfer in strength and muscle growth from leg training. And if you give it a try, let me know how it worked for you. This is Dr. Jim Stepani reminding you to train smarter and harder.